YouTubers, YouTubers who do occupational therapy, and I'm I'm buttoning a shirt right now. Like sometimes I'm buttoning my own shirt. Um, sometimes it's a challenge a little bit. So I'm I'm buttoning a shirt. Well, I'm trying to button a shirt. Uh, for now, I'm going to try this. I'll probably do maybe some typing, maybe, and maybe work on my speed, maybe, with the blocks. But for now, I'm buttoning the shirt. Um, I'm going from the bottom up, because that's how I would do it, you know, if I had it, if I was wearing it. So... So right now I'm just buttoning it. So and how does the feeling with your fine motor? As you can see, I mean it's different from before, but uh, I'm getting I'm getting there. So I'm learning, you know. So um, like me now, maybe and take me later. Then. To me, it seems like it would be a lot easier if the shirt was on you and you were trying to cut. Well, a little bit it would be, but I'm doing it this way round. Okay. Now, and button it and button it back. Yep. Is that what you're going to do? I'm going to unbutton it and do it one more time. You can. Okay. You're unbuttoning it pretty easy, it seems. I can Does unbutton it. Does it feel that. easier with your fingers unbuttoning? Yeah, I can unbutton pretty good. I mean, okay. it's just when I'm buttoning it, Sometimes. Trying to make that precise mm -hmm. movement to get inside the. We're gonna uh, swap the chairs out real quick. Bit. Okay, the good swap chairs. Oh, okay. Real quick. Thank you. Everything to work together is, you know, a little bit of a challenge, but. So the hardest part for you is fitting it into the buttonhole? Well, it's grabbing on to the button with my right. Oh, okay. Trying to do it, you know? Okay. Because I don't want to control it too good. So, trying to use fine motor skills to grab it like that, sometimes makes it hard. You know? And then I have to push it through and grab it with my index finger like that. Mm -hmm. And then push it. Good job. Thank you. Like me now, check me later.